Good morning all. Uh, I woke up this morning to find that this power bank, uh, this power ad, had its little light torch thing on. So I thought, well that's a bit odd, I don't remember putting that on, but I'll switch it off. And I can't remember whether it's double press or long press, but uh, no. Double press, long press, treble press, all combinations of presses. That's not going off, that's kind of got stuck on. So then I thought, ah, oh, okay, so it needs to be sort of kicked into action. I'll uh, plug in into its little input port uh, power from another power bank, this one. And that comes on, so this one is drawing some current. But uh, no, that still won't go off. Now I notice that when I plug this in, I don't know whether this will show on camera, it might do. Yeah, it's sort of showing. It does draw a small, well, the, the LED gets a little bit brighter. So certainly five volts is going in, but the little uh, blue LEDs there don't light up. So has the microcontroller crashed? And what's gonna happen if I just leave this? Is it going to drain the batteries down below their minimum three volts and uh, damage the cells. And then with this plugged in for a few moments, I noticed a faint whiff. <laughs> yes, there's a bit of a smell of um, burnt electronics. That LED's still on, but something in there has got, well, not just warm, but hot. That smells like burning diode or burning MOSFET. And there's a funny sort of depression there now. I'm not sure whether that's where it's got hot, but you can see there's a little mark on there and it's kind of sunk in ever so slightly. So maybe that is where the heat was. But anyway, I'm a bit stuck because uh, this thing's stuck on and I don't really, really want to leave it stuck on. So let's check the output. That's another thing with a uh, output tester. And no, there's nothing coming out of either of those two sockets. Press, press and hold, double press, all combinations. So it's completely stuck. So um, the only thing I can think to do is open it up and see if there's a reset button. Now opening these things up um, can sometimes be a bit of a struggle, can be uh, a bit difficult. As you can see from this uh, RAV Power one, which I did attempt to open at one Point. And I did get it open, or partially open, and now it's got this interesting uh, shaped access hatch which lets you see the cells inside. But you can see the problem, they use this double-sided sticky tape on both sides of the uh, box, the package, the casing, to sort of stop you opening these things up. So uh, yeah, this one, I mean it works fine, that kind of clicks into place, and I, I use this one a lot because uh, I carry it around with my mobile phone, which no longer holds one day's worth of charge. So my mobile phone is normally sitting on top of this thing. Now I don't have nice budger tools. Um, I really just have screwdrivers, so it's gonna be a bit ugly. Uh, so I might not do the full opening on camera because I'm just too embarrassed, but uh, well, let's get this thing open. And it's coming apart. There is some sort of gluey stuff there. Um, I've noticed something here actually on the end, uh, if I can get my camera to focus, yeah there it is. That doesn't look entirely clever there, it looks a bit like there's a sort of tear up through that um, strap and there's a heat mark there. I don't know whether someone heated that up, I don't quite know why that's broken there but it's obviously still making a connection. Right, let's continue to... Uh, rip this thing. Oh, there we are. It's open. Right, okay, so that's a part. Uh, the LED torch is still on, so let's take this pack of cells out and uh, conveniently they're on nice red and black wires there. I can see where the component has got hot. In fact, it's completely burnt out. It's that uh, square thing there. Let me try and get in a bit closer on that. So it's that square thing down there. I'm not entirely sure what it is, um, but it's got hot and burnt. 
I don't quite know why that would have doesn't seem very close to the uh, plastic the surface of this plastic so I don't know why it would have caused that funny sort of heat mark there but uh, let's get that board out and investigate further and uh, here's the board the LED is still shining brightly there don't seem to be doesn't seem to be um, a reset button on here just this top mounted switch which as we know doesn't do anything um, so let's take a look at the back of that board right there's the thing that got burned out I'm not entirely sure what it is I mean my guess would be or maybe it's a power resistor um, it's got some sort of burnt stuff on the top or a diode or something there's a blob round there of something but it's hard so yeah I'm not entirely sure what that is it's physically big uh, what does that say C1 that says but that may relate to that capacitor up there so yes I, I my guess is that this is a diode uh, but it's definitely got hot and that's what's giving rise to this smell so I'm just trying to uh, rip off these bits of foam so I can see what other components are on here these these are the four LEDs along this edge which light up blue to tell you how much juice there is in the uh, power bank but they're not doing anything I can't really dig around with a screwdriver or a knife here because this board is still powered up so I'm just having to sort of uh, do that with my fingernails I just wanted to pull this thing off um, I'm really not keen to use pliers or anything on this uh, because it is still powered up ah oh, that's it that's got it that's got most of it I just wanted to see uh, what's under there there isn't much there's no reset button so I think the only way I'm going to be able to reset this and the LED is still on is to um, remove these uh, power connections but to be honest I think this thing's probably past the point of uh, repair now uh, whatever that device is is burnt out I uh, wouldn't mind just seeing what the number is on top of that chip so I don't think we can see the number on that chip I think it's been painted out with something I think the number at the bottom is uh, I don't know batch or date code or something but the top number has been obscured so it might be one of these hit chips or it's just a regular microcontroller uh, that LED is still on really weird that the LED is on but none of the rest of the circuitry is working that's odd I think under that burned out device it might possibly say L2 so is that an inductor that's got hot and uh, burnt out yeah I think that says L2 under there but the device next to it which appears to be marked D2 has WW something written on it so I'm not quite sure what a WW is I think that's what it says on it well that's interesting under this piece of sellotape there is a battery protection uh, circuit with that looks a bit like one of those 8205 dual MOSFETs and there are some components on the bottom of that I can't see what they are just at the moment because there's a metal tab there soldered to that board but it's quite interesting to see the uh, protection circuit not on the main board but separated out uh, onto the actual pack itself so I'm just gonna uh, cut this wire or break it or do something I don't really want to bring my cutters in uh, too close to this board in case I short across to something else uh, so I'll probably just wiggle that and break it and then I'll probably reattach it and just see whether this CPU reboots uh, yeah that's interesting I think as a power bank this thing's had it I better make sure I've got 3d vision on this uh, yeah so the LED just comes on when I reattach the uh, battery pack to this board but none of the uh, LEDs these four LEDs at the top here come on which would normally come on to indicate how well charged this pack is uh, yeah that just seems to have completely died um, and I don't know why so that seems to be the end of the power ad power bank uh, just to identify the exact model of uh, power bank this is a power ad uh, pilot x7 20,000 milliamp hours 74 watt hours um, yeah it's a shame this because uh, this was actually one of my favorite power banks the shape is really nice because it's a curved sort of 
at every point. So it's a real shame because uh, I actually liked this power bank, but it is no more. So the way this failed is that I had charged it. So I think these are fully charged. I'd fully charged this pack. I'd removed the uh, charge lead from the micro USB. And then I think the thing had just been sat on the floor. And the next time I saw it, um, it just had that LED on. So I don't quite know what caused the failure. I can still smell that burnt out component. Uh, I've got to be careful not to uh, let these wires touch together. Although would that protection circuit there have overcurrent protection? I'm not sure. I might just cut that short. And then uh, this can be repurposed into, well, something else. Not entirely sure what yet, but it's no longer a power bank. Cheerio.